Hey guys, it's Benny here. Welcome to my video on school stories. Now, before I get into the video and start it off and stuff, I'm just going to give you the types of kids you'll find in my school. So, in my school, you have the kids who are hip and cool and post videos of themselves vaping on Instagram. Kind of similar to this. <coughs> you then have your hose. <laughs> Which means basically the one person in the school who's screwed everyone. They may be somebody in your math class who sits right across from you a few seats over. Might have the one girl on your bus who sits next to you in your seat. You never know who it may be, but you always have one. You then have your quote, cool kids, unquote who think like they're the top dogs in the school. So like mainly the kids who are just like, yo, I played Fortnite and I got like a victory royale with only a pistol. Look at this, I'm cool. Like I am everybody's friend. I got this all down and sugar coated. That may have been a very cringy, bad like representation. But you mainly have your kids who think they're cool because they think they're good at Fortnite. Which is a trash game, and the only way I play it is when I'm recording background gameplay or with a friend. Then you have your kids like me, the emo kids, who wear edgy, all-black shirts, Mike I'm a Romance, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots, Falling in Reverse, 5SOS, like, so many bands I could just name. And... I'm a part of that group, the kid who always wears 21 Pilots merch, who's always screaming the lyrics to destroy ya during lunch, like, who's always singing I'm not okay. That kid. <laughs> you then have your wannabes, who's just like, I want to be a part of this group, that group, this group, that group. Like, who wants, who acts like they're a part of the druggies. Like, the kids who do drugs or talk about stuff like that. Like, post pictures of pot or weed on their Snapchat stories. The people who want to be like the vapors. The kids who want to get laid and want to be a part of the horror group. The wannabe cool kids. The non-wannabe emo kids, because nobody wants to be emo. Let's just all face that. Unless you're, like, obsessed with the music, but people say you're not emo, even though you want to be emo, so. But, yeah. <laughs> You then have the gay, bisexual, pansexual kids who I really don't care if they exist, but then you have people who are against them who's just like, oh, if my son was gay, I'd beat him all day until he's straight. Like, honestly, people like that suck. But you have, like, your LGBTQ community kids and things like that. Like, many of my friends, they're bi, pan, like, you just need to open up and be yourself. Like, don't care, like, others' sexuality, gender, race, things like that. You then have your stereotypical white girls. She's like, oh my god, I went to Starbucks and I got a mocha, ice, latte, frappuccino, coffee, pumpkin spice. Like, the girls like that. Like, the girls are just like, oh my god, like, boys are so dumb. You have your feminists in school who, like, support women. And then on National Women's Day, you're just like, hashtag women rule, hashtag men suck, hashtag all men are misogynistic. Things like that is what you get with your stereotypical white girls. You then have normal kids who do absolutely nothing. They're not a part of any group whatsoever. They're just normal. They do nothing at all. They do all their work. They don't talk to people. They're silent. They don't try to be anybody else. Those kids, like, they're the kids you want to be friends with because nothing exciting happens when you're friends with them. Unless you want to be a YouTube commentator or something and want to do, like, story videos and things kind of similar to Luna. Then you hang out with the edgy kids. But normal kids, they're just there for background. <laughs> and have the final group of the YouTubers which I'm a part of. My friend Tommy's a part of T-Tester. My friend Charlie, CB Gaming. My friend Michael, Clone Pilot 05. Um, 
so many kids who have YouTube channels in my school. Like, honestly, so many by now. <laughs> Which, I'm one of the more subscribed ones in my school. Like, out of all my friends, I have the second most amount of subscribers. t Tester has number one, I have number two. See, beginning as number three. Number four belongs to Solon Pilot 05, who only has like nine subscribers. Go check out his channel. He's a pretty good YouTuber. He does upload some good content, some including me. He has streams sometimes. But yeah, <laughs> those are the types of kids you'll find in my school, which aren't only in my school, they're in other schools as well. But now that I have background information, let's get into some stories. Not all of these stories are going to include these types of kids. They're just going to be like stories like, oh, bus crash, oh, semi-truck crash, oh, um, some kid doing things and whatever, like, that's going to be the type of stories you're going to find in this video. It's going to be multiple of them because I have 20 minute Fortnite gameplay and I don't know what to do with it. So that's why I'm going to overextend this video. Like I overextend as overextend as Zenyatta in Overwatch. Let's go. This first story happened a few days ago when I was on the bus. Not all that long ago. So where I am, there's like a lot of snow and ice and it's currently snowing right now. <laughs> so I might not have school the day after recording this video I don't know though but with that when I was on my bus the other day um I was driving down the road so first thing that happens fire truck passes the bus you're the wow 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 from the sirens of the fire truck and everything like we see it oh there's a fire let's see if they put it out let's see if we're gonna pass it on our bus route then you see the ambulance pass us. And we're just like, oh, somebody's probably hurt or something. Or they're preparing for somebody to be hurt. Then we see a cop car pass by. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop doing that. But, like, once we, like, reach a certain point, um, we stop in the middle of the road. I'm listening to My Comical Romance at that point. Uh, vampire money and take out my headphones it's like what's going on I look in front of me and all I see is the fire truck the ambulance the cop car all just there multiple cars like in front of the bus waiting for them to move not knowing what was going on I look out the front window and there's a crash semi truck so the bus was waiting there for I'd say about 20 minutes and we just don't know what's going on. We see a crash semi truck. We don't know what it crashed on because there's nothing around it. So as the bus passes by more, you could see the semi truck was totaled. Like the whole front of the truck was like caved in the windshield on the inside of the car, the wheel touching the seat, like the tires like flattened due to loss of air from impact. And there's nothing it could have hit, which is the weirdest thing about the story because there's nothing around it it could have possibly hit. There's no telephone poles, no curbs, no cars, no trees. So, like, the person was... Like, the ambulance just turned around and left, probably with the person in it, hopefully with the person in it okay, fine, not dead or anything. We see the cop car make room for it to leave. Everybody just leaves. Then the bus slowly passes by. We were like 20 minutes late for school due to that. But that's one of the multiple stories I'm going to have for this. Uh, some of them include crashes with buses and stuff. So let's get into the next story. So this is another crash story. <laughs> I know my life's an event when it comes to crashes with the video of the crash that happened last year, about a year ago, with I upload the video the day of the crash, the second I get home from it. I got into multiple crashes within my lifetime, and this was one that just happened to be on a school bus outside of my friend's house. 
So this is another story where like snow is piled up and the bus got stuck. Like it wouldn't move forward, it wouldn't move backward. So a car goes like zooming in behind us and the bus driver, like the car almost hit the bus. It like stopped at the last moment and like just slightly bumped it and the bus driver just screams, slow the F down, you F and A hole. <laughs> like all the kids are just in awe because it's, like, bus driver just screamed such vulgar language and just got, like, out of hand. And then, like, <laughs> me being the idiot I was in third grade when it happened, pulled out my <laughs> iPhone 3 at the moment, put it up to the window with a note saying, Hey, buddy, can I come in? Because, like, the bus was stopped and I thought he would be able to read my phone through the window. Like, he wasn't able to. He was trying to see what it said. The bus driver wouldn't let me open any windows. My house was, like, just down the street from where the bus was. So I would have been able to get out. The bus driver didn't even let, like, the other kids in the bus who literally lived right down the road out of the bus. Like, just let the one person who stopped me were at out. So I tried to get off the bus with them. After an hour of being stuck on the bus, my friend's mom, like who lives on the same road as me, came over, picked me up, picked everybody else up who lived on the road, took us all home, and that's all there is to that story. But when you're on a bus, don't get stuck in snow and don't have a car crash into the back of it. <laughs> Great story. So this happened about a year ago, and it's kind of my own fault that this happened, but it's also the kid's fault because they misunderstood something that happened. So I was at my friend's birthday party and like we were running through his woods and stuff and me being me, I was wearing shorts. There happened to be like sharp thorn bushes and everything and I cut my leg up with them. Standard just scrapes on my leg, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of cuts, <laughs> no infection or anything. But I sent them to somebody <laughs> And they thought I was cutting my leg, like, purposefully. So, the next day I went to school, which was around three days later. Um, during music class, the teacher gets a call. So, the teacher tells me to go over to her. I talk to her, and she's just like, Benny, you have to go down to the guidance counselor. There should be somebody down there waiting for you. So, I went out of the music room across the school all the way to the guidance counselor so once again to the guidance counselor she's like so benny can you show me your leg so i pull up my pants <laughs> show her my leg and all the scrapes are on there she tried to like ask me if i was cutting them or anything there was another girl in the guidance counselor one of my friends the girl i sent the pictures to of the cut leg so, <laughs> the guidance counselor, being worried about me and my mental health, because then again, at that time it wasn't emo at all, so there was really nothing to be explained for that. But, like, the guidance counselor thought I was cutting my legs. So it's just like, no, I didn't do anything. The guidance counselor kept on trying to, like, tell me that I was cutting my legs and I kept on like saying back no I didn't cut my legs I didn't do it I was at a friend's birthday party and like cut my leg I sent her the pictures because I was just showing her that I cut my leg at his house so the guidance counselor finally believed me called my mom let her know and I was there and everything <laughs> and told her the whole story and that's the end of that. I was out of the guidance counselor. Everything was normal after that. <laughs> that was about a year ago. And, yeah. So, the next story is, so, this year I'm in drama club in my school, in my grade, and everything. Like, it's a mix of two grades in the school, and there's, like, a bunch of people in it and everything. So, a girl in drama club, like, asked to go up to her lo locker and get her stuff. So when she came down, she started, like, wheezing and, like, <laughs> breathing very heavily and started worrying everybody. And the teachers didn't know until, like, students told the teacher and everything. But, like, for 20, 30 minutes, like, the whole time, you just heard... 
like throughout the whole auditorium and everything like everybody was worried so turns out the girl had asthma and everything and like she didn't have an inhale or anything and it was really bad like she was about to pass out bad so she was like told to go home and everything and she kept on like arguing with the teacher saying no 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 she could stay and everything and that didn't really matter she ended up having to call her parents and then like ended up like going early like she still has common asthma attacks during drama like the other day she passed out and like fell on the ground <laughs> and kind of worried everybody he was okay <laughs> but another thing about it is like she's kind of uh one of those cutting people so that also worries everybody she was sent on to the guidance counselor about that similar to what happened with my leg with her she lied completely and said she didn't cut her wrist and everything but like <laughs> everybody like got really worried about the asthma thing and stuff like at first people thought she was like choking herself because she was sitting in the back and like breathing like that and it kind of sounded like she was choking and things so that's just saying like if you have asthma don't run around a whole school because <laughs> things like that'll happen. The more and more I think about it, these stories are kind of awkward and short, and I'm just trying to fill in the void between good stories and, like, the crappy stories that nobody likes and wants to listen to. Sorry about that, but I'm just trying to make entertaining content. <laughs> so, sorry if this video is kind of annoying and repetitive and stupid and everything. So, yeah, let's get on to the next story. So, a couple of years ago, when I was in fourth grade, I was one of those kids who, like, wanted to get out of school and just play games all day. <laughs> I think that might be part of the reason I'm fat. Oof. But, <laughs> about that, like, I used to chug waters and everything to try and make myself sick. Sometimes it worked. And one time it worked a little too well. So, if you're not into... Um, gross things, like puking and things, then click off the video now and maybe watch one of my other commentaries, which are better than this one in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> I'm just saying that so you could go check them out. But I took a lot of water and I puked under my desk normally, just like watery, liquidy because I drink water, a lot of flavored water, like two bottles chugged. So then I get up to go tell the teacher, like all the way to the teacher, I'm just retching all over class. Oh, sorry about that, I just bumped my mic, <laughs> oof. But I, once I got to the teacher, he was just like, go down to the nurse, go down to the nurse. I stopped like just before I would end up puking on his shoes. <laughs> it would have been bad if I had. I feel like I'm just selling out with these stories by now because they're all lame and just really bad. <laughs> but once I got over to the teacher and everything, like I was told to go down to the nurse and I went down, went home, got yelled at for making myself get out of class and go home. Then again, I kind of deserved it. <laughs> so let's get to the next and probably final story. So there's this one kid in school who like isn't the greatest student. So in the middle of class, this kid decides to pull out a tennis shoe. Like, chewing tobacco, not, like, gum or anything. And the kid pours it out all over his desk. Like, completely covers the desk. He takes one piece, shoves it in his mouth. Takes every other piece, shoves it down his mouth, starts chewing it. Like, full-on chewing the chew. Like, actual, like, eating it. He swallows the chew. And nothing happened. Like, 
the kid does stuff like this all the time. Like middle class, just doing chew, pulls out his phone, plays games and everything. But that's all there is to that story. Let's do an outro. Okay, so I'm getting the video off here because I only have 10 seconds left to gameplay. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the terrible stories. I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, turn on bell notifications, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye.